What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and another episode of Weekend Watch where I break down the top five movies at the weekend box office and I also let you know what is coming to streaming services. Keep in mind the numbers I'm sharing with you concerning Bob Marley One Love and also Madam Web. These numbers are based off of a six day opening weekend because these two movies open up last Wednesday on Valentine's Day and tomorrow is also a holiday. It is President's Day. So which one of these brand new releases opened up at number one? You may be surprised or maybe you're not surprised to hear that it was Bob Marley One Love with $51 million. First of all, I am so thrilled to have people going to see movies again because I was getting extremely worried. It seemed like the past three weekends, it just got worse and worse and worse. And last week, the numbers were abysmal. They were completely awful. So to see such a gigantic number for the number one, especially for a biopic, I am thrilled with this. And Bob Marley, One Love, I think I really underestimated this movie in last weekend's video because I did not predict that this movie would be number one. I just automatically assumed it would have been Madam Web because that is Marvel. And granted, it's not MCU Marvel, but Sony Marvel usually opens up at number one as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be the highest number. But usually they open up at number one. Well, I was proven wrong. So I'm completely humbled by this. And I give all the credit in the world to Bob Marley. And it actually makes me want to go and see this movie even more because it's got to be pretty good if it made this much money. And obviously people have been wanting to see this biopic for a while now. So I'm happy to see Bob Marley at number one. I'm predicting that this time next week, it probably most likely will maintain number one because let's talk about Madam Web. Madam Web did end up in second place, but I am not predicting a good future for Madam Web. So this past weekend, Madam Web opened up with $25.8 million. That is a very bad number. <laughs> it's extremely horrible. Granted, yes, it's Sony. As I mentioned, it's not MCU Marvel. It's Sony Marvel, but still, these numbers are horrible. I've heard nothing but god-awful reviews about this movie. I've heard that the plot, everything is just terrible. The script writing is lazy. The acting leaves something to be desired. I've heard nothing positive about this movie at all whatsoever. I've even heard People say it is the worst comic book movie of all time. Even worse than Morbius. Wow, that's really, really saying something. So as far as the future for Madam Web, I'm not seeing a future. I'm not seeing a future at all whatsoever because I believe everyone that really wanted to go and see this movie that were excited about it, they went to see it this past weekend. And with the word of mouth being so horrible, Madam Web is going to tank. It's going to fall into oblivion and it's just going to leave the top five fairly quickly because Dune 2 is right around the corner. And I've been hearing fantastic reviews about Dune 2. And I think everyone is very excited about that movie. So once Dune 2 opens, forget it. Madam Web, sayonara, see you later, goodbye you're out of there. No one is going to want to go and see this movie. No one wants to go and see it now. So it has no good future. All right, let's move on to, I'm still going to go and see it because I need to see the horribleness. Is that a word for myself? All right. Third place. Third place belongs to Argyle. Argyle is still hanging in there. Third weekend out, bringing in five and a half million dollars in fourth and fifth place. Fourth place belongs to Migration with $5 million even. And rounding out the top five is The Chosen Season 4 with $4.1 million. So what is new at the box office this coming weekend that you can anticipate and get excited about? We do have two brand new films. They're not huge releases, but they are something new to kind of get excited about and two movies that are being re-released. So as far as the brand new films, we have Drive Away Dolls and also Ordinary Angels with Hilary Swank. 
Now, even with these movies coming out, I'm still predicting this time next week, Bob Marley, One Love is still going to be number one because these movies haven't really had a lot of marketing and advertising. I haven't seen any kind of trailer for Ordinary Angels. I have seen the trailer for Drive Away Dolls. That may be a surprise, but I don't think it's going to take away the number one. Maybe the second place if Madam Web drops off fairly quickly. Who knows? Who knows? And as far as the two re-releases, if you missed out on Les Miserables and also Tenet when they were originally in theaters, then you may want to consider going and checking them out. So you have four options besides Bob Marley, One Love, and also the horrible Madam Web. Okay. <laughs> At least you have options. There's always options for you. And now, perfect segue, let's talk about streaming because there's always options on streaming for you. And there's a lot this week. So over on Netflix, we have Avatar, The Last Airbender, and also Mea Culpa. I believe this is a Tyler Perry film starring Kelly Rowland. I don't know. Are you interested? But besides that, Saturday night, this coming Saturday, I will be watching the SAG Awards. The SAG Awards are airing this Saturday on Netflix, and I will be doing my live, not a live reaction, but I will be reacting to the awards, and my video will be posted after the award show is finished. You got that, right? <laughs> so be on the lookout for that video later on on Saturday night. And I'm very excited about the SAG Awards because I just... I just got news of the BAFTA winners and I am so absolutely thrilled. So if they win SAG, Oscar's pretty much guaranteed. All right, let's move on to Max. Max has a great debut this week. They have Priscilla. Now Priscilla, I'm very anxious to watch because I missed out on this movie at the theater and I'm really looking forward to seeing this one for the first time. So that's on my streaming list. Hulu. And this is my gold star recommendation for the week. Hulu is dropping All of Us Strangers. This film has been getting nothing but great reviews. It has been nominated during award season. So this one is my gold star recommendation. I haven't seen it yet for myself, but because of all the positive reviews about the film, I am recommending it to you. So if you have Hulu, definitely try to check that one out. Disney Plus. This week is dropping Star Wars, the bad, the bad, I almost said the best batch. Star Wars, the bad batch. There we go. Star Wars, the bad batch. This is the final season. I'm not sure if anyone knew that if you watched the show. So if you do, just to make you aware, this is the final season for the bad batch. Paramount Plus. This is my week, man. I am so excited. We got the family, the family Stallone. There we go. The family Stallone. See, I'm so excited. I can't even talk. Paramount Plus has the family Stallone season two. What is better than that? Life is great. And finally, over on Apple TV Plus, we have Constellation and also Messi's World Cup rise of a legend. So that's everything happening at the box office and also on streaming. So comment down below and let me know which movie did you go and see this past weekend? Did you choose to see Bob Marley One Love? Most likely you did because that was number one. Or did you suffer through Madam Web? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time.